Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiker application staff once again. A request came in from a customer to explain how he could restart his machine when drilling a series of holes, restart at a specific hole in his grid pattern. And I've got several different ways of doing it that I'd like to show you today. The first I think is the slickest and pretty exclusive to Akuma. I'm going to take a look at my program first and you'll notice that I only have one sequence number in front of the can cycle that is spot drilling 100 holes throughout the program. My post processor did not put sequence numbers in front of each hole which is not necessarily a bad thing. Akuma knows that that's a possibility and so it's going to give us an opportunity to do something a little special. So I'm going to go ahead and execute the program and it's moving right along. You'll notice here on top of my display my sequence number is not changing but here I have a block number that is changing. So I'm going to pay attention to that right about now in my cycle I heard something nasty or my drill broke and so I hit reset and in manual mode I'll just jog my Z out of the way replacing the tool or fixing whatever the malady was that was causing problems but you notice that this block number has been saved for me that's the last block that the machine executed before I hit restart uh, reset so now I'll find my soft key that says restart and it's asking me for a sequence name or block counter hmm interesting if I were to have a sequence number in front of each hole I could simply use that but since I don't I am just going to enter the number 40 which was the last block that was executed and now when I say OK the machine seeks out block number 40 by going over to my machine control and now utilizing the sequence restart button the machine moves itself right back where it was one block prior to the block that I've requested. Then I can hit cycle start and the machine takes off right from there. That is the easiest method for restarting at a specific hole. However, if you have powered off your machine or you interrupted the job for some specific reason, you don't have the same sequence number or the block number showing on your screen anymore. So my next method is to just get into my program and find the specific hole where I want to restart and I'll just put a sequence in there. Obviously sequences always start with the letter N. Akuma does not restrict us to using numbers here for a sequence. I can use letters as well up to five characters so I'm just gonna say NJMP for N jump and that's the hole where I want to start. Now we'll save that program and I will repeat the process that you just saw but this time I will restart and in my sequence name block counter I'll put my NJMP and say OK. The program seeks it out until it finds it. Once again back on the machine control sequence restart will move my machine back to where it was one block before this sequence and now cycle start allows me to take off from there. Hopefully this clears it up for you, and if there's anything we can do, please call your local Gossiger application staff. Thanks for watching.